Good morning, Steve Freed with the morning grain comments. Markets are mostly lower led by soybeans. The daily on soybean meal and soybean oil and palm oil futures are all sharply lower and getting back to mid-August and even June prices. I think there's a little bit of concern about seasonal increase in palm oil production and also uh, somewhat of a, a decline maybe in demand. Financial markets are seeing uh, some kind of risk off after the Fed's uh, policy that's labeled right now higher and longer as far as uh, rates are concerned. Uh, we also noted that there is some talk at $92 crude. We could be seeing some um, drop in demand. And so uh, that might be affecting uh, soybean oil as soybean oil prices are locked in to domestic uh, fuel consumption with forecasts of higher uh, biofuel demand. The uh, export sales numbers today uh, still probably below uh, a level to um, move the markets higher. Uh, still has some logistic problems as far as low river uh, level areas and uh, <clears throat> still seeing uh, large exports to China, both corn and soybeans out of uh, Brazil. Sales in wheat 250 to uh, 600 versus 437 last week. Corn 550 to 1100 uh, versus 753 last week. And beans 550 versus 1200 versus 703 last week. So after the export sales, we'll be watching weather. There is some uh, rain <coughs> forecasted starting this weekend, early next week, uh, for parts of the Dakotas, Western Corn Belt. Um, the second week <clears throat> even has a little bit of shower activity uh, in the Canada prairies. So the rain um, in the Dakotas could slow some of the corn and soybean harvest, but farmers that are welcoming uh, the rain to replenish soils, uh, given how dry it's been uh, this uh, summer. We also note that um, the Ukraine, uh, South Russia, uh, is dry for the winter uh, wheat crops, and that um, there continues to be efforts by Ukraine to ship out grain uh, to through Romania, uh, which could offer some resistance, especially to, to corn uh, futures and, and corn exports out of the United States. October through August, uh, oil seed imports to China 110 million tons versus 95 last week of that last year of that 101 is soybeans versus 91 last year so uh, again choppy trade um, globally there's some dryness and uh, some unseasonable high humidity levels um, and also uh, we're watching our export sales data and money flow with today a, a big risk off day